Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe. Baleadas. Soft flour tortillas filled with beans, cheese, and other toppings. Baleadas are a popular street food in Honduras, consisting of soft flour tortillas filled with various ingredients. They are a versatile and delicious option that can be customized to suit individual preferences. Here's how to make Honduran baleadas. Ingredients. For the tortillas. 2 cups of all-purpose flour. 1 teaspoon of baking powder. 1 half teaspoon of salt. 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil. 1 cup of warm water. For the filling. Cooked red beans, Honduran-style refried beans. Crumbled queso fresco, or a mild crumbly cheese, such as feta. Sour cream or crema, or Honduran-style mantequilla. Optional toppings like scrambled eggs, avocado, avocado sauce, or chorizo. Instructions. Prepare the tortillas. In a mixing bowl, combine the all-purpose flour, baking powder, and salt. Add the vegetable oil to the dry ingredients and mix well. Gradually add the warm water and knead the dough until it becomes smooth and elastic. If the dough is too sticky, you can add a little more flour. If it's too dry, add a bit more water. Divide the dough into small balls, about the size of a golf ball. Roll out each ball into a thin, round tortilla on a floured surface. They should be around 6 to 8 inches in diameter. Heat a dry skillet or griddle over medium-high heat. Cook each tortilla for about 1 to 2 minutes on each side until they puff up and develop light brown spots. Keep the cooked tortillas warm and covered with a kitchen towel to prevent them from drying out. Assemble the baleadas. To prepare the baleadas, take a tortilla and spread a generous spoonful of cooked red beans across the center. Add crumbled queso fresco on top of the beans. Optionally, you can add other toppings like scrambled eggs, sliced avocado, avocado sauce, or chorizo. Finish by drizzling sour cream or Honduran mantequilla over the filling. Fold the tortilla in half or roll it up, creating a semicircular or cylindrical shape. Serve the baleadas warm, either as a quick snack or a substantial meal. Baleadas are a beloved and filling street food in Honduras. The combination of the soft tortilla, creamy beans, cheese, and various toppings makes them a delicious and versatile choice for breakfast, lunch, or a snack. Tacos. Soft corn tortillas filled with a variety of grilled meats and condiments. Tacos are a beloved and versatile street food found not only in Honduras but also in many parts of the world. In Honduras, as in other places, tacos are typically made using soft corn tortillas and filled with a variety of ingredients. Here's a basic recipe for making traditional street-style tacos. Ingredients. For the tortillas. 2 cups masa harina, corn flour. 1 and a half cups warm water. 1 half teaspoon salt. For the filling. Cooked and seasoned meat of your choice. E.g. Seasoned beef, pork, chicken, or even fish. Chopped onions. Chopped fresh cilantro. Salsa or hot sauce, as desired. Lime wedges for squeezing over the tacos. Optional toppings such as guacamole, sour cream, and shredded cheese. Instructions. Prepare the tortillas. In a mixing bowl, combine the masa harina and salt. Gradually add the warm water while kneading the mixture until you have a smooth, pliable dough. If the dough is too dry, add a bit more water. If it's too sticky, add a touch more masa harina. Divide the dough into small balls, about the size of golf balls. Flatten each dough ball into a round tortilla using a tortilla press or a rolling pin. Aim for tortillas that are about 6 inches in diameter. Heat a dry skillet or griddle over medium-high heat. Cook each tortilla for about 1 to 2 minutes on each side, or until they puff up and develop light brown spots. Keep them warm under a clean kitchen towel. Assemble the tacos. To make tacos, take a warm corn tortilla and add a portion of your cooked and seasoned meat in the center. Top the meat with chopped onions and fresh cilantro. Add a spoonful of salsa or hot sauce to taste. You can use a variety of salsas, from mild to spicy, based on your preference. Squeeze a lime wedge over the filling for added zest. Optionally, you can add toppings like guacamole, sour cream, or shredded cheese. Fold the tortilla in half to create a semicircular taco shape or roll it up into a cylinder, securing the filling inside. Serve the tacos hot and enjoy. Tacos are incredibly versatile, allowing you to customize them with your favorite meats, toppings, and salsas. They are a beloved street food because of their delicious simplicity and ability to satisfy a variety of cravings. Bocadillos. Sweet coconut candy.
bocadillos are a type of sweet treat found in various Spanish-speaking countries, including Honduras. These bocadillos are not to be confused with the savory bocadillos found in Spain, which are sandwiches. Honduran bocadillos are small, sweet candies made from ingredients like coconut, milk, and sugar. They are popular as snacks and are often enjoyed on special occasions. Here's how to make traditional Honduran bocadillos. Ingredients. 2 cups of grated fresh coconut, or desiccated coconut. 1 cup of sugar. 1 half cup of evaporated milk. 1 quarter cup of water. 1 quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. A pinch of salt. Butter or vegetable oil for greasing. Instructions. Prepare the coconut. If you're using fresh coconut, grate it finely. If using desiccated coconut, you can use it as is. Combine ingredients. In a large, heavy bottom saucepan, combine the grated coconut, sugar, evaporated milk, water, vanilla extract, and a pinch of salt. Cook the mixture. Over medium heat, cook the mixture while constantly stirring. You want to reduce the liquid until it becomes a thick, sticky consistency. This process can take about 15 to 20 minutes. Grease a pan. While the mixture is still hot and sticky, transfer it to a buttered or greased flat dish or pan. You can use a rectangular dish or a mold to shape the bocadillos. Shape the bocadillos. Smooth the mixture in the dish and press it down to create an even layer. You can use a spatula or the back of a spoon to do this. Cut into shapes. While the mixture is still warm and malleable, use a knife to cut it into small square or rectangular shapes. You can also use cookie cutters for different shapes if desired. Allow to cool. Let the bocadillos cool and set at room temperature. This can take a few hours. Serve. Once the bocadillos have cooled and solidified, they are ready to be enjoyed as a sweet snack or treat. Honduran bocadillos are known for their sweet, chewy, and coconut-flavored goodness. They make for a delightful snack and are especially popular during holidays and celebrations. Pinchos. Skewers of grilled meat, often served with tortillas. Pinchos are a popular street food found in various Latin American countries, including Honduras. They typically consist of skewered and grilled meat, often served with a variety of accompaniments and toppings. Here's a basic recipe for making traditional Honduran pinchos. Ingredients. For the marinade. 1 quarter cup olive oil. 2 tablespoons fresh lime juice. 2 cloves garlic, minced. 1 teaspoon ground cumin. 1 teaspoon paprika. 1 half teaspoon dried oregano. Salt and black pepper to taste. For the skewers. One and a half pounds of your choice of meat, such as chicken, beef, or pork, cut into one inch cubes. Bell peppers, onions, and other vegetables of your choice, cut into chunks. Wooden or metal skewers. For serving. Fresh lime wedges. Chopped fresh cilantro. Salsa or hot sauce. Instructions. Prepare the marinade. In a bowl, combine the olive oil, fresh lime juice, minced garlic, cumin, paprika, dried oregano, salt, and black pepper. Mix well to create the marinade. Marinate the meat. Place it's before assembling the pinchos. This prevents them from burning on the grill. Thread the marinated meat cubes and vegetables onto the skewers, alternating between the meat and vegetables. Grill the pinchos. Preheat the grill to medium-high heat. Place the assembled skewers on the grill and cook, turning occasionally, until the meat is cooked through and has a nice char, and the vegetables are tender. This usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the type of meat and the heat of the grill. Serve. Remove the pinchos from the grill and serve them hot. Squeeze fresh lime juice over the skewers and garnish with chopped fresh cilantro. You can also serve them with salsa or hot sauce on the side. Honduran pinchos are a flavorful and satisfying street food option that combines grilled meat and vegetables with zesty marinades and fresh toppings. They are perfect for a casual outdoor gathering or a barbecue. Pastel de tres leches. A tres leches cake, a sponge cake soaked in three types of milk. Pastel de tres leches, which translates to Three milk cake is a beloved dessert in many Latin American countries, including Honduras. This cake is known for its moist and spongy texture, thanks to being soaked in a mixture of three different types of milk.
evaporated milk, condensed milk, and heavy cream. Here's a classic recipe for making pastel de trace leches. Ingredients. For the cake. 1 and a half cups all-purpose flour. 1 teaspoon baking powder. 1 half cup unsalted butter, softened. 1 cup granulated sugar. 5 large eggs. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. Pinch of salt. For the free milk mixture. 1 can. 14 ounces, sweetened condensed milk. 1 can. 12 ounces, evaporated milk. 1 cup heavy cream, or whole milk. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. For the whipped cream topping. 1 and a half cups heavy cream. 1 quarter cup powdered sugar. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. Instructions. Prepare the cake. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius. Grease and flour a 9 by 13 inch baking dish. In a mixing bowl, combine the all-purpose flour and baking powder. Set aside. In another bowl, cream together the softened butter and granulated sugar until light and fluffy. Beat in the eggs one at a time, then stir in the vanilla extract. Gradually add the flour mixture, mixing just until incorporated. Do not overmix. Pour the cake batter into the prepared baking dish and spread it out evenly. Bake in the preheated oven for about 30 to 35 minutes or until the cake is golden and a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. Prepare the three milk mixture. In a bowl, combine the sweetened condensed milk, evaporated milk, heavy cream, and vanilla extract. Once the cake has cooled for about 10 minutes, use a fork or a skewer to poke holes all over the cake. Slowly pour the three milk mixture over the cake, making sure it's evenly distributed and absorbed. Cover the cake and refrigerate for at least 2 hours or overnight to allow the flavors to meld and the cake to absorb the milk mixture. 